This is Akashwani Itanagar, the news read by Apu Kapak. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today paid tribute to noted scientist and former president APJ Abdul Kalam on his 92nd birth anniversary. In a social media post, the Prime Minister said Kalam was loved by people due to his humble behavior and exceptional scientific talent. He said Kalam wrote some best-selling books and was widely popular, especially among the younger generation. Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare Dr. Marchuk Mandavia inaugurated a series of new buildings at the Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences, Negrims, in Shillong, Meghalaya on Saturday. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Mandavia said that the newly inaugurated facilities such as Regional Cancer Center, Undergraduate Medical College, Nursing College, Hostels, Eight Modular Operation Theatres, a virtual Autopsy and guest house will provide much needed healthcare services to the people of the Northeast region. He also laid the foundation stone for a 150 bed critical care block at the institute. The key institute, the key highlight of the new facilities is the virtual autopsy facility at the institute, which is one of the most advanced and sophisticated facility available only at few centers in the country. Virtual autopsy is a known invasive post-mortem examination that uses medical imaging technology to create a 3D model of the body which can then be examined by forensic pathologists and other medical professionals. The third and fourth flight carrying 471 Indian nationals arrived at the Indira Gandhi International Airport Delhi today. Operation Ajay was launched by the government to bring back around 18,000 Indians in Israel. The Indian Embassy in Israel is providing assistance to Indian companies and has set up a helpline for Indian citizens in need of assistance. The Ministry of External Affairs has also set up a 24-hour control room in view of the escalating conflict. The control room will help monitor the situation and provide information and assistance. Governor Katie Parnaik and First Lady Anagha Parnaik participated in the Foundation Day celebration of Donipolo Mission School for the Hearing and Visually Impaired, Chimpu Itanagar, today. The governor, who was impressed by the students, assured to strengthen their aspirations. He said that with better grooming and upbringing, the students can compete with other children as they have huge potential. He exhorted the students to work hard and do well in life. He assured that the Raj Bhavan will take initiatives to provide the children with better exposure and life experience to make them proud citizens of the country. Education Minister Tabatadir said that the state government led by Chief Minister Pema Khandu is committed to enhance the education sector through various policies and measures, emphasizing on the substantial progress in the field of education in the state. He em- highlighted the remarkable increase in the number of government schools private colleges, government colleges, private institutes, universities, a state university and a central university within the state. The education minister was speaking at the Silver Jubilee celebration of Shanti Deva Vidyalaya Bomdila, which was organized at the GRL monastery on Saturday. Tedir in his address clarified the purpose of declaring 2021-22 as the year of education, saying that it is aimed at raising awareness among the public parents and society. He addressed the misconception that sending school students to school absorbs parents of their responsibilities, emphasizing that the society's progress relies on education. Tedir also shed light on the new education policy and its diverse curricula. Commissioner come mentor secretary for Lower Suban City District Vivek Pandey accompanied by Sashank Tripathi, a 2015 batch IAS officer recently assigned to Arunachal Pradesh from Lakshadweep, is on a three-day tour to the district. On the first day, the mentor secretary took a comprehensive review meeting involving all the work and elite departmental heads at the district secretariat. Spelling out the purpose of his visit, the mentor secretary emphasized on his role in providing guidance to district administration to help them attain necessary developmental benchmarks. He encouraged the officials to commit themselves with dedication and hard work towards transformation of the district. Distinguished mountaineer Bachandri Pal is leading a group of 14 women aged 50 and above on an adventure in the breathtaking terrain of Arunachal Pradesh on an 18-day Himalayan tour scheduled from October 18 
11 to 28 next. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.